Hello, welcome to this lesson where we are looking at um, a direct and inverse variation. We are looking at one question that has uh, two variations. In the previous lesson, as you can see, this is lesson E3. In the first lesson, I looked at uh, direct variation. And in the second lesson, I looked at uh, inverse variation. Now, in this third lesson, I want to look at Questions that you combine the two variations. Alright? So, I do request that uh, you look at lesson 1 and lesson 2 of variation before you come to this one. You will find them uh, helpful. Okay. Because here we are looking at examples directly. I did much explanation in the previous lessons. So, now let's look at um, these questions. What are we supposed to do? Most of these questions have been drawn from uh, examination past papers. I also got some, I think I got one from this book. Okay, those of you that have it, it's a... Uh, so, you know that a direct variation, if you, were, if you remember very well, we're saying from direct variation, if y varies directly with x, we're writing it like this, okay? Then inverse variation, if y varies... Uh, inversely with x, we are saying 1 over x. Okay? So, if we have written something like this, in terms of, uh, um, uh, if we say we've got k, it appears in terms of variation, we are saying, y varies directly with it, I mean, as it, x, also it varies inversely because as you can see this one it's like we have what y is equals to what k then uh, x multiplied by the inverse of z which is 1 over uh, z so that is where this thing is coming from so when we are looking at a combination of the two this is what we're going to be talking about so what are we supposed to do so we look at the first question we look at the first question y varies directly as what? z. y varies directly as z. So I'm going to say kz. That is what we were writing when we were looking at direct what? Variation. Then, and inversely as w square. And inversely, so this inversely part will come here. Okay? Because it was supposed to be 1 over so that is what we have. So it's going to be like this. This is how we are going to write the equation. This is how we are going to write the equation. Okay? This is how we are going to write the equation. Then, we need to find this constant. We need to find that constant using these values. What is y? y has been given as 6. y has been given as 6. What is our z? Z has been given as 2, so we multiply 2 multiplied by K, it's going to be 2K. Then what is our W? Our W is what? 3 squared. Here, because of the square, so it's going to be 9. 3 times 3, going to be 9. Are we there? Then, we multiply. This is going to be 2K is equals to 6 multiplied by 9. Like it like that. Then, k is equals to, you, this has to be divided by what? By 2, which is this 2 here. So, 2 into 6, it's 3. 3 multiplied by 9, we have what? 27. So, our k is 27. Our k is 27. So, the equation that we are going to be dealing with now, from this one, we need to rewrite it as, y is equals to y is equals to 27 which is the value of k we have found the value of k z over w squared this is now the equations that we're going to be dealing with we found the value of k which is the constant we have found the value of k which is the constant all right so this is the equation that we are going to be dealing with this one, even when they have not asked you to find the value of this k, for you to solve these two questions, you just need k. So k, you have to find it. Alright? So, um, we 
we come to look at the other questions now. I think we have used this information. I've used this information, even this same part. I need space. Okay. So, what is it? Find the value of y when z is equal to what? This must be 6. Okay. When z is equal to... Uh, was it 6? When z is equal to 6. Okay. When z is equal to 6. I hope this was 6 here. Um, and then w is what? 9. So we have y is equal to what? 27 z over 9. Am I right? So we want to find the value of y. So this is going to be 27 multiplied by 6, which is z over 9. 9 into 27, it's 3. So we say 3 multiplied by 6. y is equal to 18. Okay? That is what is going to be our answer for the first one. What is the value of y here? That is what is going to be our answer. It's 18. Then we come to C. We come to C. Remember K was what? K was 27. Then Y here is 18. Now we want to find the value of what? This one. What is it going to be? We are coming from this question. This is the formula that we are using. This is the formula that we are using. What is the value of what? W. When we are given Y and Z. So Y is what? We have been given Y here as 3. Our Y is 3. Then we have 27 Z. Uh, what is our Z? Z has been given also here as 4. Over. Okay. So you know that we are working with this part. So 3 and D, we cross multiply. So if we cross multiply, in other words, we are saying this W squared and 3, they are going to switch positions. Or remember? Because we are saying we are going to cross multiply. So that's what will happen. So we are going to say W squared is equal to 27 multiplied by 4 over 3. Now, 3 into... Uh, 3 into 27, it is 9. 3 into 7, it's 9. 9 multiplied by 4, we get 36. Okay? So to find W, we need to get the root of 36. So W is equal to plus or minus 6, the square root of 36. That is what we are going to get. Okay? That is what we are going to get. That is what we are going to get. So we are done with the first question. If you are looking, if you have the past papers, I'm sure you are able to see that, uh, like this question, it has come from this paper, was it 20? 20, 20, I don't know, 2016 or so, it's a specimen. So if you have these papers, you'll be able to see these questions. So this one, it's already written as in the, we have the same, almost the same, uh, it's, it's purely the same question like what we had. And uh, I do not think it's even good for me to waste the time look at this one. Because it's exactly the same in terms of this, the way this part has been phrased. Okay? Here we had x, and the only difference here we had what? W squared. In this case we have what? Z squared. So... I didn't many, but in the question, maybe the only thing I wanted to emphasize was that this one was already given like this. There was nothing like inverse reward, but you can see that the variation, y was directly, I mean, proportional to x and d inversely uh, proportion to z squared. So even when it was given like this, you can see that it was a combination of two direct um, um, variation as well as the inverse. So I, I do request that this should be 
one of the questions you are going to do under the exercise because it's, all, it's already done so i'll be repeating the same process okay so let me go to the other question which is the last one without wasting our time this i think it's, 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 it's exactly the same as the, the question that i dealt with so you can look at this one you can look at this one so let's come to this one why sometimes it's not all the time that they'll be using why they can use other letters as you saw when we were looking at inverse variation i think at in one question we used v and t so here we are saying why uh varies or is direct proportional to the square of x the square of x is z, this one please take note of this the square of x square root this one this one is the cube cube root cube root this is cube root even the other lesson i so it varies directly as the square of x and inversely proportion to the cube root cube root of what p the cube root of p is this one so this is how we are going to write the what the equation that we are going to work with so find the value of k here we are finding the value of k when p is given y is given and 9 is given okay that is what we are doing what are we supposed to do so what is our our y is 3 here this is equals to okay then x squared what is our x our x is um 9 so when you square 9 because x is squared here when you square 9 it is 9 times 9 and we are going to get 81 here over the square I mean the cube root of 27 the cube root of 27 is what what we want to establish so we have 3 is equals to 81k over the cube root of it is what 3 the cube root of 27 is 3 and that is what we have written here so we can go on and say um uh, 8 3 into 81 is 27k. What is the value of k? The value of k is 3, this 3 here, divided by what? 27. You simplify. k is equals what? 1 over here. 9. The value of k is 1 over 9. The value of k is 1 over 9. The value of k is 1 over 9. Okay. Okay. So the value of k is that 1 over 9. Then so we write we write our where we have k here. What are we supposed to put? 1 over 9 1 over 9 this is the equation now that we are going to work with this is the equation now that we are going to work with remember that now what do we want to find we want to find the value of p when x is equals to 9 when x is equals to 9 and y is equals to 27 take note of that what we want to work with is what we want to find the value of u. We want to find the value of p. Okay. We want to find the value of u, p here. So let's say y. Y is given as what? 27 here. Then we have 1 over 9. And what is our x? Here. Y is 27, X is 9. So this part, take note. It's 9 squared over the cube root of P. And this is what we are looking for. 
This is what we are looking for. We want that P. So, like I did explain on the other part which we had, I mean on the other question that we had, right? This we have one. Okay? So, in other words, it's, it's like you have to cross multiply. When you cross multiply, it's like we're going to have 27 P is equals to, we can simplify this part here. You see, we have 1 over 9 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 9. Because of this, 9 squared. So, we can, we can expand. So, this 9 and that 9, they will go. We only remain with 9 here. Okay? So, at this point, we can say, uh, we can divide both sides by 27. So, I'm even going to rewrite this one. P, I will write as P, 1 over 3. That's the way we convert it. So, this is going to be P, 1 over 3, is equals to 9 over 27. This 27, I've divided both sides. If you divide it here, it comes... So it has come this side. Okay? So this is going to simplify further as 1 over 9 in 9. 9 here, 27. So now we have P, the power 1 over 3, is equals to 1 over. Alright? So how do we solve this? This is where we do mention, I have mentioned from the previous questions that we've done. This question has a lot of... Uh, uh, relationship with uh, index and notation. Hmm? I mean, it has got a bigger relationship with the, that topic. So it's even important to look at, especially the part of equations on how we convert these things. So at this point, we need to multiply this fraction with, with its reciprocal so that we get rid of this one. 1 over 3 multiplied by 3 over 1. This gives us 1. 3 over 1 is the same as 3. So, that is what we are going to do. So, when you multiply this one by 3, you also need to multiply this side by 3. Then, this one will give us 1, which will still be P to the power 1 is the same as P. Okay? So, now we are going to remain with P is equal to 1 over 3. So, you expand this 3 times. 1 multiplied by, multiplied by. This gives you 1 over 20. 7. So P here, P is equals 1 over 27. K there, we found that it's what? 1 over 9. This is what you are supposed to do. Remember, there's one question that I left for you to do. And I have two more from these past papers that I want you to do. Okay? Remember to subscribe to this channel. Invite your friends. Invite your relatives. Invite your children, anyone. Okay, let's get this question and do it. I don't know, this is 2016. There's also another one here. This one is GCE 2019. Okay, we do this. Thank you so much for watching. Please continue supporting this channel by watching the videos, inviting your relatives that may need to pass their Examination Council of Zambia exams. Thank you.